think it's very important, number one, to read. I really, I, I am, uh, I'm shocked at the number of people who tell me they don't read. They, you know, I haven't read anything since I got out of school. I swore I'd never read another thing. And I'm like, I don't know if I'd tell people that. If I read it, it doesn't really make you look really smart. But uh, I think that, that when we uh, force ourselves to do something for a, a gain, right? I mean, that is discipline, right? It's not, you know, too many people think about what they don't want to do. Well, what do you want? What is it that you want that would make you do something you don't want to do for a little while? You know, what prize is out there? What? And, and, and obviously, uh, wise people, uh, they produce right and so how did they become wise what happened there one of the huge common denominators is that they read now i know i don't i don't want you to sit there thinking oh yeah this guy is a, a writer and he's wanting us to read his books look i'm not saying you have to read my books i am saying you need to read somebody's books it doesn't have to be mine. Find somebody that doesn't bore you to tears. Find somebody that's working on a subject that you're interested in. But, but over and over again, I find that it is not a specific that we're looking for. You know, when we want to not always believe everything we think, when we want to expand our thinking, it is not a specific. It is, it's wisdom. It's wisdom we are seeking. Remember, it's the second uh, of the seven decisions. Seeking wisdom. Only that will allow us to think beyond what we already think. Okay? It's that seeing. And I used to think that, you know, the second decision is I will seek wisdom. I used to think that the wisdom word was the key to that principle. But it's the seek part. It's the seek part. You know, another thing Joan said to me, I haven't put this in a book anywhere but I, I got very aggravated with him one day because there was something that he said and I, I was so aggravated because I because if I had known that what he just said I wouldn't have had certain challenges and, and I remember saying you could have told me that a year ago I mean you're just telling me this now you could have told me that a year ago what and he said you never asked and I realized Oh, yeah, okay. That's true. I am the one who is supposed to be seeking wisdom. I mean, it's not his job to chase me down the street and beat me with the wisdom stick. When I find sources, when we find books that are available and people that are available, uh, I really believe there is not a single person on this planet that, that we can't learn something from. Uh, sometimes it's what not to do, okay? But but we can seek this wisdom, and we find it. I would let me give you one huge, just little uh, push in a general direction here, and and then we'll close this up. But the proverbs that King Solomon wrote, the proverbs are uh, probably my greatest source of breakthroughs to this day. I have for years and years and years, I have read a chapter in Proverbs every single day. I read five Psalms and one chapter in Proverbs every single day. And that's in addition to whatever else I'm reading or working on at the time. But I do that every single day and I do it over and over and over. And, and you know, I hear you because I kind of think sometimes, you know, well, okay, you've read this so much, you probably say it by heart. You know, you could recite it. And yet, I am shocked. You know the old thing about when the student is ready, the teacher will appear? I, I am shocked at the things that I find to this day that jump out at me, pieces of wisdom that lead me to, to act in a little bit different way or to produce in a little bit different way or to think in a little bit different way. I am shocked at the the impact it has on my parenting, on my relationships, on my marriage, on my finances. And so this is a great place to start. If I were you, 
Uh, you know, there's an acknowledged wisest person in history, King Solomon. Hey, let's you and I every morning sit at his feet for just a little bit and see what was put in him to reveal to us. So get after it. And remember, you can't always believe everything you think.